ASMR is viral. For this video, I will be doing some ASMR content, as if you couldn't tell. Or, you know, just talking nicely into the microphone to help people relax and, you know, sleep, something like that. And you know what? I'm, I'm alright with that. I'm alright with the fact that some people might just watch me because my voice is nice, it's buttery smooth. Um, because at the end of the day, while I really do want to make a career out of, you know, this, and make money, make a fan base, my sole goal, my, my true motivation, no bullshit, I'm not putting on a character like how I did for the first, you know, X is viral explained with math video. The sole reason I make my videos is just to help out, like, one person. I know that's the most cliche thing you've probably ever heard, but it's true. Like, as long as I can make one person who's had a, you know, a hard day just a little bit better, just, you know, I help take the edge off of their back just a little bit, that is all I make my content for. And, you know, maybe I should be thankful for that. Maybe I should be thankful that I've got, like, such a corny, such a, you know, oh, you're such a goody two-shoes kind of, like, motivation, right? Because a lot of famous people, a lot of celebrities, a lot of, you know, people, they're, they're fucking liars, man. They say they're in it for the people, but, you know, all they care about is themselves, all they care about is the money, and, you know, maybe they do wish they could, you know, just be like me, and just, you know, their sole goal is wanting to make people's day better, but, like, I don't even know, man. Like, I don't even know. I, I just don't. I just don't. I wish I could. I wish I could understand people better. I actually tried learning about psychology for that very, you know, reason. But, you know, when you study psychology for a bit, like, like you actually do it, a good amount of it makes sense, but a lot of it is bullshit. And I don't mean that to, like, piss people off, but it, it just kind of is. Just because someone exudes, like, certain traits or whatnot, it doesn't exactly guarantee they're a part of said group or more likely to do X, and... Yeah... It's not like I'm going to, you know, create something better than it. It's not like I'm gonna write my own book that's just, like, psychology, but better. I don't have the motivation to do that, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, my voice got a little crispy there. Very crispy. Very femi goth kind of voice. Oh my god, that reminds me. Like when I'm really fucking tired, um I I was getting into the fridge because cause, you know I gotta keep this ass fat. Um I was getting into the fridge and my mom was just like, What you doing? And I just replied in the most goth fucking femme voice ever. And I was just like Ah, oh, you know, I'm just, like, getting some food. <laughs> like, I sounded like, no joke, a fucking hot topic worker, right? And, and like, I, did, I didn't even mean to do that. I didn't put any effort into it. It, it was just all natural, baby. All natural. <laughs> genuinely. Genuinely, I was just like, oh, mom, you know, I'm just getting a snack. <laughs> I'm I'm not even lying. When I'm when I'm super fucking tired, zoinked out of my mind, I just become a goth girl. <laughs> you, you know, truly a damn shame when I try to keep up my hippie sofu chick kind of vibe. God, going goth, I could never. Oh, maybe I should buy a better microphone, but I'm kind of too poor for that. Damn, that's really cringy to say. No, guys, I'm rich. You guys don't need to donate to me at all. I'm so fucking stacked. I'm white, so, you know, my family, they've got, like, billions. <laughs> totally billions, man. You wouldn't believe it, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I hope this all sounds good. If I check back and the recording is just fucked beyond repair, I will be so damn angry. And I'm not talking like cutesy, Oh, she's angry. I'm talking like punch a hole in the wall, throw the house into the abyss kind of anger, man. Like I will rip everything to smithereens like 
like you've never seen before. I, I, I mean it. When I mean rage, I mean like Kratos kind of anger from like the original games. And yeah, I would, I would wreck house. I would wreck shop if the recording was total shit because like, listen to my voice, dude. It sounds so good. <laughs> A lot of people dislike their voice, and I just want to tell you right now, baby girl, baby boy, baby... What fucking demon is outside my house? I mean, don't come inside the house, but, like, could you go away? You're kind of just distracting me from, like, sweet-talking my audience, man. It's really distracting. <laughs> God, not even demons can, uh, ignore my big dick energy. God, that's so cringy to say. How did that ever get popular? Huh. You, oh, wait. For any insecure males, or, you know, people with wieners in chat. Why do I say chat? You guys are... There, there is no live chat. Who, who, who am I <laughs> talking to? <laughs> um, For any insecure dudes out there who've got, like, you know, five inches, anywhere between four to six inches right you're like oh no i'm not big enough downstairs no woman will ever love me that's not true dudes i i promise you you'll be able to find a woman who will love you just as much as like if you had a nine inch trust me dick size only really matters if you're trying to get into like the porn industry or if you're trying to win like a pissing contest with some internet troll or you know superficial statistics or all that matter because like ladies we're, we're super sappy right right ladies <laughs> like we don't really care if the you know hung downstairs as much as like as if they'll just comfort and reassure us that like we're gonna be okay w women just prefer like safety and um genuine interest in the bullshit we talk about <laughs> realistically so yeah, if you're insecure about your ability to pull tail just because you have a small pecker, like, don't, dude, just don't. Like, it's not worth, like, comparing yourself on a battlefield that's already predetermined. It sounds like a really cool quote. I should put that in a book and then sell it for, like, ten million dollars. And there will always be that one millionaire that, like, you know, buys books be not because they actually read them but because they like cool book covers so they won't know they got scammed they'll think they got like the best book ever and they're like oh yeah dude i bought this book and there was like only one of it ever made it's it's super valuable <laughs> and then <laughs> it, it you know the entire book's just blank you know it's the it's the dragon warrior school i'm i'm doing that millionaire a favor man i'm giving him that 10 million dollar secret the ten million dollar, you, you, you know, <laughs> secret pleasure. <laughs> God. I don't really mind how people perceive me. Like, I identify as a woman, right? I'm, I'm like, f how, how do I say it? Because, like, I want to say I'm fully female, but... Like, I mean, I am, but, like, I'm not fully feminine. I'm not ghouly ghoul. Not by any means. I'm, like... How do I put it? I am, like... Hmm. I think... Wait, wait. I'm, like, 50% feminine, 40% neutral, 10% masculine. If I had to, like, break it out into statistics of, like, what my gender is, so... Like, yeah, yeah, okay. So mostly feminine, but, like, not too far off neutral, and then, like, a little bit of masculine. That, that'd be, like, my preference. But if people want to see me as, like, this, you know, cool, hot dude with a six-pack whispering in your ear for that boyfriend, ASMR, <laughs> uh, go ahead. I'm, like, however you want to perceive me, that's that's your choice to make. If my voice is... You know, what you want to see me as, then that's how you'll perceive me. For every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. <laughs> yeah. I'm so good at philosophy. I read, like, one quote once. I'm practically him, bro. <laughs>
God, it's it's so weird, right? Because well, I fully identify as female, turbo feminine, turbo girly. That's so me. <laughs> That's so me, dudes. Um. Right, right. When I get super like jazzed up, I I just go like I'm him. I'm so him coded. <laughs> Bro is him. <laughs> And it's weird, right, because, you know, I'm, I fuck with the she, her pronouns all fucking day. But, like, when it comes to titles, right, like, king, um, dude's a total chad, you know, stuff like that, right? Like, I'd rather be, like, I want to be called a king. Not not because, you know, masculine, but just because king has more oomph to it, word-wise, you know. That dude's a king, that dude's a queen. You know, queen just sounds weird. It sounds like, you know, it just kind of falls out of your mouth. King is like, mmm, that's, that's, that's gritty. I'm hitting the gritty, guys. You, you know, like, is it so wrong? Is it so wrong for me to, you know, want to, like, if, if someone's talking to me, it's like, oh, she's, she's doing good and she's the lord, you know, like, you know, she's the golden lord. Uh, haha, Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Anyone get that? Haha, ha, 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 I'm, I'm normal, please. <laughs> but yeah, like, Lord, Emperor, you, you know, they're just bops. I like those titles. I don't like bro. Right. Like, I don't, I don't like guy. It'd be more like, I'm your gal, right? I'm your girl. But like, Who's the king? She's the king. Is that so weird? Am I so wrong for just preferring, like, you, you know, those mmm, gritty words? Gritty, mmm, she's the man, you, you know? I mean, that's also another weird thing when it comes to, like, English vocab, is man is meant to be, like, seen... Like, obviously, you can use it to identify a man, but, like, when people say man in more of, like, that cosmic sort of sense, they mean human, but just shortened down. Sorry, I've got a boop. Hold on. I will hopefully be able to cut that out of the video. I had the fucking boop. So unladylike. Uh, I wonder when I'll stop cutting things out of the video. I'm trying to see into the future. Open my third eye and my third asshole. Holy, wait, wait a minute. Hold on, counting. Third asshole. Sorry, I was doing math. I actually speak in math. I wonder if anyone will enjoy this. I wonder if I'll even post this. Because, you know, my bitch ass is kind of like... I'm afraid of being genuine. I'm not even going to hold you. Because it's just like, I want to talk about so many things, but I'm just afraid of opening up because it's like... Like, I'm not trying to paint myself into a corner too much because I want to be... Like, you see, that's the problem with content creation, right? That's the problem with being an entertainer celeb, right? <laughs> You're not trying to pick a political side. You're not trying to pick left or right. I'm politically indifferent, by the way. Don't even ask. I'm, like, center but a little bit lefty, you know? I, I love the gays. Gays, so me. For real, for real. Um, but, yeah, very, very middle-of-the-road kind of person. I think both have good points and bad points. Obviously, a very generic answer, and because I'm an entertainer, you probably think, oh, she just... You know, she just means that because she doesn't want to share her real opinion. And it's like, no, no, I'm, I'm just actually very middle of the road when it comes to it. I think both sides are fucking stupid, and, but, like, they've got, like, one or two good ideas. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's it's very great for this field because, you know, that's what you want. You don't want to paint yourself into either corner realistically because all you do is isolate and, like, lock yourself out of the fan base, essentially. You know? But, I mean, it, it kind of sucks, because, like, you, you're kind of afraid, like, mm, I love taking dick up the ass, because, you, you know, you're not trying to invite too many people that, that you know, want to shove their dick up your ass. 
holy shit if this video doesn't get demonetized it will it will don't don't judge me it will but you know if it wouldn't like if it didn't that would be an achievement i'd get like a medal or something maybe um i've got like a ko-fi is that how it's pronounced up i you know got that up recently <laughs> it's not the only thing i'm getting <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord have mercy on my very incy weensy soul. Um, but yeah, I got a Ko-Fi up recently. And I put the minimum donation as, like, a, like, tip, right? Because I wouldn't consider that a donation. Uh, is there a difference in size between d donations and tips? Well, donations are for a purpose. Tips are just, like, as an appreciation thing. So I guess... Most of my money I'd receive from, like, fans or, you know, people in my circle community would probably count as tips because they're not really doing this to make me get better content, or, you know, because I promise it. They're doing it more because, like, they appreciate what I do and they're trying to support me and, you know, just help me out and showing thanks and gratitude, which which is great. And, like, my Patreon, the only category I have is, like, for $1 a month. Which is, you know, totally, like, I mean, it, 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 it's, how do I even put it, right? Because, like, in a sense, it makes sense, right? Because, you know, having just a nice, cheap option that, like, people don't have to break the bank to support you over, right? But, like, on the other hand, it's just, like, because uh, I got one supporter who is, like, my actual friend on Discord, right? And they have you know, just signed up for that, G been going three weeks strong, and, like, I check the thing, and apparently I only get, like, 76% of that, so I get, like, 76 cents, which is weird as fuck to think about, because it's just like, hmm, 76 cents, <laughs> where a third of that extra dollar go, <laughs> and, you know, I wanna... Like, in a sense, I want to get more money, right? So that way I can fund myself and, you know, fund my projects, fund the community. But in another sense, like, I'm not trying to, like, overstep my boundaries, right? Because I know the content I make isn't high effort. It doesn't take someone with skill to make, y you know? I'm not trying to seem like... Oh, like that prissy. Oh, I deserve it. You guys should be giving me five grand. <laughs> God, hell no. Hell no. Um, but y you get what I mean, right? Because it's like, I'd like a PC for editing. And, you know, maybe in the future I will have it someday and I can afford and, you know, I'll make video essays. I'll do some other content. I'll, I'll balance a lot of different pies on my titties, but, you know, I'll do it with style. You know, I'll do it my way. I wonder if I should talk about AI art for a video. You see, the problem with me, right, is, like, I've got the voice, I've got the vibes, I've got the humor. It's just my problem is orderization for scripts. Like, my scripts, I need, like, a good editor for both the scripts and the videos because, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you all. My editing style, kind of ass. Um, you know, if someone with actual talent... You know, if I actually found something that didn't require a whole lot of editing, that'd be great. <laughs> I, I don't know. Because, <laughs> like, I'm trying to, you know, get that brand image up. Because, like, the mascot or avatar I use, you know, blue hair, the space buns. Uh, that's, like, my idealized self. You know, she shares the same name that I do of, you know, Ginger, just spelt weird. Because she's, you know, also an OC on top of just being, like, my stand-in, right? And, like, I, I think I need to get more, um, like, you know, reaction images or whatever up so that way I could make, like, reactionary content because, you know, I don't, I don't really have all those. I just kind of have, like, moods of, like, art. And, like, I'm not super skilled when it comes to art myself. I've made you know, a wee bit of physical art, but, like, I'm not good by any stretch of the imagination. Like, my sketches, they look great, but once I, like, actually try and do 
you know, real art, you know, being a real artist, you know, you know, that's where the problems really show through, and it's not like, it's not like I want to practice, because people are like, oh, you're decent, you could be good with time, and it's just like, yeah, I don't really enjoy, fi- like, making physical art enough, usually, for me to ever want to pursue that, if you catch my drift, like, of course, it makes sense to, it makes sense to do that with, like, animation, whatever, for the, you know, a live thing. Honestly, I think what I'd really want to do is be a VTuber and, like, have my avatar, right? And, you know, maybe this video will take off. I'll get, like, you know, VTubing agencies reaching out to me. But, like, th- the thing is, though, even if they were paying for my PC, you know, they paid an artist to rig my model and everything, they're gonna want the rights to my character, my fucking baby. And, like, that's that's the thing, right? I would partner with an agency you know, for, like, the resources and help, yeah, but, like, you're not getting the rights to this OC, you're not getting the rights to this dick, baby, like, I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm never giving that up, she is mine, Captain, you, you are never taking my soul from me, which is why I probably won't get into VTubing for a very, very long time, I'd love to, I really would, Because I feel like I'd be great at it, playing games on stream, that's easy content. I'm naturally entertaining, unironically. I'm not saying that just to be, you know, um, to live up to my pride, right? But, like, when I'm in Discord calls with friends or whatever, I'm just naturally a very entertaining little fella. Um, It's like when you get the cameras rolling, it's like my my riz kind of shits itself, because... It's, it's this weird thing, right? I, like, I've seen people say, like, Virgos, right? The Riz is perfect when they're not trying, but when they are trying, it's horrible. And unironically, that's so true for me, because when I'm just being myself, when I'm just naked in your living room floor, you know, just being where I'm not supposed to be, I'm chilling. Like, I'm making the best content ever. Um... But when I'm actually, like, when I actually have a crush on someone, and when I'm, like, talking to them, I'll just be like, yeah, I, I kind of shit my pants, I'm not gonna lie, hee hee tee hee, go out with me, please, and, you know, it's just like, holy shit, God, pull it together, woman, <laughs> you can't say that on live TV. <laughs> if you know, you know. Alright, um... I'm gonna drop my Ko-Fi, Patreon, whatever, in the description. I'm gonna fucking plug my Patreons. You know, my friend, that's my patron. Um, I sound like such an idiot at times. I, I really need to do something about that. Or maybe I don't. People love a little idiot. Um, yeah, I hope this video was able to help relax you in some way. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed them. God, that was such a horrible ending. Uh, I need to redo really that. Fuck. No, I don't. If as long as it's not too loud and I don't like make that part loud and like nothing wrong goes, you know, nothing wrong happens, it's fine. But yeah, hope I was able to help relax you a, a bit. Oops, sleep, whatever. I had to poop again. Fuck me. Uh, okay, yeah. So I'll be ending the video. If you need to replay it to help you relax or sleep more. Um, Yeah, hope your day's good. Peace, Ginger out.